I mean, defense has kind of been a topic for a while now. Have you noticed the similarities in your struggles from game to game defensively as a team, or do you just look at each game as a separate, yeah, distinct some, entity? We noticed some similarities, but I think um, overall, you know, the problems do evolve. And as you saw something, maybe something else comes up. So it's just constantly a, a chase of, of addressing, you know, what needs to be better and what we can improve upon. And in your mind in addressing that, what have been the things that you guys most need to improve upon? It's kind of like a, a connectivity, um, having each other's back, um, you know, forcing them to take the shots that we want them to take, uh, and, and, and being in gaps and, you know, presenting a picture that, you know, makes it a lot more difficult to score. When you guys are switching coverages so much, how much of that is also part of the challenge? Because obviously it's not just switching, but it's switching in-game, learning where guys are going to be. How much of that is part of the challenge? A little bit, but I think that can be the strength of our team, uh, having versatile guys defensively that can guard lots of positions, lots of different areas of the floor. I think that that's a strength. So I think as we continue to play that style and, and be able to change coverages, you know, we'll gradually get better at each of them and gradually get better at that changing process. When you have as many versatile guys as you do and guys that are accomplished individual defenders, you know, Mikhail and Nick, Royce, et cetera, yourself, is it surprising, shocking? I don't want to put words in your mouth. How would you describe your feeling that we're this deep into the season and you guys still haven't quite got the connectivity on defense? You know, sometimes it's, it's not a matter of uh, having an emotional response to it as much as a matter of kind of just understanding that we do have the ability and locking in for the next game, um, locking in and, and in an effort to, to figure it out and to fix it. I, I don't think there's any lack of hope. I don't think there's any lack of, um, you know, care to fix it, to turn it around. But I do think we have pretty good individual defenders. So, as you know, we know that, that the potential on that side of the ball is pretty high and it's just a matter of getting there now. When you guys are switching, you mentioned like how it plays to your strengths, like as Brian said, how much does having those versatile defenders help with the switching coverages in game? Because obviously it can be challenging going from like say zone to drop or what, but how does the skill set help you guys with that? It helps a lot, it helps a lot and I think the result of it is overall good. I think there's just a couple things that we need to clean up. You know, if you if you do the process 90% correct defensively, that 10% you know still leaves room for them to score the ball. So I think it's it's just small margins that we just need to clean up that will result in a lot more stops. On, a, on another note, uh, Jalen got some minutes on the last road trip. He played in that Bucks game. What have you seen from just his readiness coming in as someone who's played four years in college and can fit in really well. With he guys. competes. He competes every play. And he did, he did exactly what he's been doing his whole time with us, just play hard, crash the glass, be in the right spots. Um, and so in a, in a sense, he deserved you know those minutes and he deserved to to have an opportunity to showcase what he's been working on for a long time. You know, experienced player came in and, and, and started to grasp the concepts of, of NBA basketball pretty quickly. And um, I thought he had a really good game against Milwaukee and he's been giving us good minutes when he gets in. So for you, when you came in, you were an older player too. Did you feel like a different set of like, okay, when you're in, there's a difference than maybe if you were maybe first year, second year college player. Was there a different difference for you in yeah, that? It was definitely an advantage for me. Um, I was older and had played a lot of you know college basketball, and so I think I understood. The, I think it's it's really first and foremost an understanding of the concept of being solid, of being dependable, reliable, being in the right spots. Um, and, and I think Jalen has those things. And I think when I first came into the league, it was a big reason why I was able to get on the floor, just because you know I'm, I'm going to be reliable in the game plan and in defensive positioning and all that stuff. How would you characterize your comfort level now at all three levels, just how you're reading the defense? I mean, we've seen you not just where you're shooting from three, but getting to the basket, facilitating all that. It's a process, though. It's improving. I go watch the games, watch the process of it, and I think I still have a lot of room for improvement. So, um, you know, I, I think it's come away so far, and I think, you know, I've, I've made some personal strides in, in areas, but I'm far from where I want to be.